He broke my fence. I'm gonna break his face. Keep me on. <laughs> everyone and welcome to the release or not really release it releases tomorrow of jurassic world evolution 2's dominion dlc and today i was thinking what could we do we could do the campaign but we kind of all have already seen the campaign because i did it not too long ago so why not we start off first with the what if story which is quite interesting it is at his ranch in high sierras owen grady carefully protects his herd of parasolophus already i'm in love with this from thieves cabot finch and the dfw see an opportunity to create a safe haven for dinosaurs in america it looks like it's five stars and the only other what if scenario that's five stars is the jurassic world now this could be length so this could be quite a long one, which is interesting because I wasn't expecting it to really be a long one. I mean, I was expecting maybe, I don't know. I don't even know what the diamonds mean. Maybe it's difficulty. I'm not sure. All I know is I'm super excited for it. So, oh, 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 oops, I turned off subtitles. This time. You might think Isla Nublar there we go. is where everything changed. <laughs> and it wouldn't be long. But that disaster affected more than the dinosaurs. There he is. The entire world was forced to come to terms with what happened and what we'd unleashed. We were too optimistic. Not about the animals, but about humanity. Without fail, greed reared its ugly head once again. Ah, the, the DFW needed multiple spaces to keep the animals safe until they had a more permanent solution. Nestled in the Sierra Nevada mountains, Owen's Owen's ranch. Ranch was one of the locations that would offer refuge to the dinosaurs. Oh, that's it? That's all we get? Oh, Owen's Ranch. Now we play. Play as Owen, Mr. America. I love myself some God. And shooting deer. <laughs> he's, a, he's an American man all through and through, is our uh, Owen Grady. <laughs> or Chris Pratt, I should say. This feels like the campaign, though. After the dinosaurs fled the Lockwood estate, dinosaurs were now out in the world, and we would have to learn to coexist. I knew I had to do whatever I could to keep these animals safe and have their own protected space, even if that meant creating it at my own ranch. For thousands of years, people of all kinds have been wrangling livestock in the Sierra Nevada mountains. This land was able to provide for them, and it will for us. We received a handful of dinosaurs from nearby areas. Some even wandered in on their own, oh, that was probably nice. looking for food. I didn't think it would work at first, but it seems like my ranch could be a perfect place for them. Now we find ourselves fending off poachers, who are after the dinosaurs. Modern day rustlers with horse power instead of horses. Uh, this is how it's- <laughs> But there was no way I was gonna let them be theirs. Interesting, okay, okay. I'm hoping it's not just build a park, entertain people. I want like something a little bit different would be nice. Nice place. I always Ooh. wanted a cabin out in the woods with less dinosaurs, obviously. Oh, it's more than a cabin. It's a ranch. Uh, there's a difference. Thank you for getting here as quickly as you did, Cabot. Look at his oh, house. I'm kind of out there on this one. I need to get these dinosaurs back under control. Hey, as long as you brought choppers with you, we can get started immediately. Did you bring Finch. choppers with you? You did bring helicopters. Do, you... <gasps> Do I get to take control of Owen Grady on a horse? <laughs> Could you imagine? Right That'd be so good. DFW resources were needed elsewhere. Ah, that's bureaucrat speak for no, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Is this just but like I what if Biosyn never existed? With me. Is that gonna be enough, Owen? Yeah, I've done more with less. Wait, what, what, what do we take direct control of a ranger let's team? Let's start with the ranger oh. teams. We need to herd the Parasaurolophuses back to the ranch. Yeah, okay. I'm good to go. So this is, I think, in the new free update. Is this, because you used to... I mean, Jeeps to start with didn't do much. But over every free update, they've added more and more things. So right now, you have Send, Summon Circle, and Summon Cone. So if we quickly cycle through, you have this as well. So I think it wants me to go over to here. Oh, there you go. Send and summon suite. Okay. So basically, when you... You can change your size of your uh, reticle as well. And when a dinosaur comes into it, you'll see it's actually highlighted. Only thing is, it still a, takes a bit to control the jeep while you're doing it. 
So once you get all of them in your goony woony, you go BAM! And then they are the mo the best trainedest Parasaurolophus you guys have ever seen. So we could probably just like go down here and be like, Look at them go! <laughs> they look so cool! Because they, they proper follow. The pathfinding is amazing with these things. Look at that. It's like I'm part of my own herd. Right, we probably need to do it again. We need to go s uh, send. And I don't know where we're going. Are we going over this way? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's right. You better get going. Get scram. Wait, you're not doing anything. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, will it automatically open the gate? Or do I have to? Oh, there you go. Ah! <laughs> I'm dying. This is what you get, vermin. That's oh, fun. I like it. That should be the last of them. Uh, and me. Looking around, I'd say we are good to go. Woo! And you are always right. Ooh. I'd say my track record says yes. You have to be right in this line of work. Wait, where did I come from? It came from there. In some weird way, that does actually make sense. Claire, uh, can you double check? We got them all, right? They're all accounted for, yes. But we still need to make sure the animals are safely housed in enclosures. Oh, I love these ones. We're on it. Just a little bit of groundnut, and there you go. It's perfect. I love it. Okay, there's a lot of things this DLC's given you, but these powers... You think you're excited for the Giga. You think you're excited for Therizinosaurus. Ah, ah, it's these powers. You get three freaking skins. It's so good. I love it. This is really starting to feel like an authentic DFW operation, Owen. I guess it'll lose the charm of the ranch, but at least my property value will go up, right? Let's just focus on getting the buildings we need up and running. Okay, there we go. So now it's starting to become a bit more like Jurassic World Evolution. As you can quite clearly see, we've had to make everything. They could do something different here. Like something, you know, really different. Like have poachers come in. Have me, I don't know, chase them off with a jeep or something. That would be quite cool. There's a lot you could do here. And this is a whole new map too, I just realized. <gasps> Exciting! And then I don't know what we're going to do with this or what kind of needs power. But I can't click on it, so that's good. <laughs> Are you done? Are you ready? We don't need power, but apparently we do. Heads up, I'm getting word from my people that there may be an attempt to steal Ooh. some of our dinosaurs. Here we go! Uh, yes, people. this is what? what I want! I have people. Where are they? You do. Well, well, is the gate locked? I know people. That makes more sense. How many are we talking about here, Finch? My people didn't provide a number. Well, okay. That isn't great. Just keep an eye on the dinosaurs. Oh, we won't let any of the dinosaurs go missing. Okay, so we're gonna probably just hang around with them. They'll run rather than risk getting caught. Prepare to intervene! <laughs> if I'm in with the parasaurs, they can't get them. So what am I supposed to do? Just like full speed ahead and ram them. Sabotage gate. Can I not just delete the gate and then... Oh, they're in! Are they? There's them damn poachers. Back. Oh, no. Oh. Reboot in progress. Okay, cool. So they're going to be locked in here. <laughs> Bam! Oh, it's broken. This is what you get for trying to steal my dinosaurs. <laughs> he's just stuck in here. Oh, no, he's gone. <laughs> We're take him hostage. Have Interrogate to him. The from both inside and outside threats. The dinosaurs are too valuable. And now rustlers know where to find them. <gasps> they come, and they will. They'll be looking for a weakness in our defense. Then we make sure we oh. don't have any. There is always a weakness. No, there's not. So, Lies! What do you suggest? Well, keeping an eye on the animal enclosures would be a good first step. We already monitor their welfare, so we can add their security to the mix. And maybe improve our lighting after dark, too, because that's when the rustlers tend to strike. So that's where we start. We need as many scientists as we could get. But there isn't that many good ones, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we'll have Matilda. Oh, she's cheap as well. I like Matilda. Cheaper research, faster research. It seems like this is all we've got. We just want faster or cheaper. You know what? I'm gonna go with faster research with her. She's a bit expensive, but that'll do. And then, I don't know what this... Floodlight. Ooh! 
this is cool. I like this. It is different. It's not just make a park. Oh, thank you, Fruity. Camera posts and watchtowers will mark the track rustlers if they drive into range. Oh, heat detectors can detect activity in a large range, but trigger from both dinosaurs and rustlers. And flashbang traps will disable rustlers temporarily, but have a small range. Oh, I like With this. With all the activity taking place here, I thought you might need a little more help. I believe you know Dr. Sattler and Dr. Grant. Hey! Of course. By reputation and with admiration. <gasps> Thank you, Claire. Alan and I have been following your work with, um, interest. Yeah, Is that right, Ellie, in your weird microphone? <laughs> you know, with the volcano eruption and the escape at the Lockwood Estate and the... Anyway. I can't believe I can't believe you're alive. <laughs> how did Chris? Uh, how did he do it? How did Owen survive a pyroclastic uh, flow? We're willing to help. We're so glad to have you. And you, Owen, uh, you're the guy that works with Raptors, right? Oh, here we go. Well, there were a few of us, but I led the operation. We learned a lot from him. And Dr. Grant, do you have any Raptor experience? Yeah, you, you could say that, uh... Yeah, I have experience with raptors, yeah. Yeah, you need to gain their trust. <laughs> oh, oh, I respect them, yeah. I respect them, I can tell you that. Oh, I can only make five of them. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, there he is! He's breaking in! Wait, looks like we have some uninvited guests. Oh my god! Thank you, Kenny! Rose is approaching, prepare to intervene! I mean, again, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to, like, head speed and run? I think the powers took them out last time. Gate fit? Oh my god, it's slippy. Jesus. Oh, I like this. Yeah, get, get some cowboy music on. The fence has been broken. Why don't we just put the, like, the ACU response thing right next to them? This would be way easier. Reboot in progress. I don't know what to do, but... Ah, there you go. Die. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, whatevs. I guess we'll reboot. Are they trying to sedate my dinosaurs? What, what, what's your plan here? Pia! <laughs> Prevent more than five dinosaurs being stolen. Oh, is that good? Is he captured? Away! Bam, there it is. <laughs> Kill him, eat his flesh. <laughs> right, here we go. The biggest high speed collision. Boom! Does that if he's flat does that mean retreat? Oh, he might be retreating. Haha! <laughs> you don't get to retreat! Dox yes, him! They are on the way. <laughs> we have the right team in place. No! I discarded and... it! Okay. We must save Let's it. Let's get the dinosaurs into safe and comfortable enclosures. I gotta admit, Ellie. This is all a little surreal. What do you mean, Ellen? I don't think I could have imagined the day when we would be herding dinosaurs. You always said you believed they moved in herds. Oh, well, right. you said it once in one I movie. Was just making educated guesses. You have never made a guess in your life. Well, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the nice dialogue there, guys. Brilliant. Uh, transport tries. I think Triceratopses do get on with paras, but we'll put the we'll put them there, and then we Gallimimuses can go in there. I feel like I've I've got a lot of things. So we've got the camera set up here. We've got the floodlights as well. And I mean, apart from a little bit, we've got a floodlight there too. Ooh. I don't know why I put that there, but they only seem to strike after night. So, or like after uh, sunset. So that's good. So we'll put the Triceratopses here. Now, you need a status check, guys. Put one there. One there. And one there. <laughs> Yeah, this is fun. This is something different. This is kind of what I was wanting. It, it feels like this is the campaign though, right? Like we were doing DFW things before and now we're at Owen's Ranch. It, it, it feels right. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering what the other one is. <laughs> if it's just, this is the story from Dominion. There you go. A gate like right in front and then a gate right there. So we can get into these four enclosures instantly and five actually with that one. And then... We just need to put a path because it needs power. Some of our animals need medical attention. We're gonna need a place to treat them. We'll get a paleo medical facility built right away. 
And we'll just have this go the longest way around ever. <laughs> Uh, do we need this gate? So we do need to link up to here somehow. Right, so I don't care about this gate. Sod this gate. I, I hope it doesn't affect anything when the, the wranglers come, but I would prefer just having it open. That way, I can instantly get some jeeps over there. Once that gets built, we've got a jeep right there, and we should be able to intercept them pretty quickly. Hopefully, I've just made this super easy. I, you know what? We can just put it here. Yeah, sod it. Let's just put it over here. Seeing as we've got this whole shebang thing going on now. So, Triceratopsis. What do you want? You want ground fiber? Okie dokie. Oh, look at this place. It looks so good, man. This looks awesome. Look at my ranch dinosaurs. Aren't they beautiful? This one's Betty, and this one's Clarence. Betty and Clarence seem to get on. Right, we need to kill them now. That's too much. Actually, hold on. We can sell a photo. Oh, <laughs> with no heads. <laughs> oh, yeah, I completely missed it. Hold on, hold on. There you go. We need the money. Yes. Work it, baby. Yeah. Especially you. Oh, it's giving you the sad eyes. That'll sell for extra. Rustlers detected. Hold on to your cowboy hats. Here we go. <laughs> Prevent more than 10 dinosaurs from being a scaffold. Oh, there he is. Okay. Right, here we go. He broke my fence. I'm gonna break his face. Keep me on! <laughs> no, bad, bad galleys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this. Send. Oh, wait, he's getting away. He's no, 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 no. He's getting away. Oh, fine. Fine, we'll not kill him this time. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, he got one. What are you gonna do with them, huh? What are you gonna do with them? You're gonna run them over? Like, what, 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 what's the plan here? Oh, you broke another fence? Oh, for God's sake, there's another one in here. All right, then. Okay, he's given up. That's fine, that's fine. Destroy him. Destroy! <laughs> yes! I don't understand what this guy's. Oh, he does! He's dotted a Gallimimus out in the, uh, out in the wilderness. You little buggy! How did that one get out? <laughs> he's like, I can't reach it. No. Ah. Oh no! You little bugger, you! What was I supposed to do? He's just bringing in a helicopter? Can we not shoot that thing down? No! Die! <laughs> I lost a galley! Herbert! No! Brad, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, never mind. The woods stopped me. They sure are. Ooh. Just not in the ways you're imagining, Finch. Research is the answer here. It's what we do. Research the shotgun. Okay. <laughs> so, research it is. Let's see what other security measures we can devise. Atomic bombs, uh, thermonuclear strike, something like that would be really cool. We could just blow them up. Probably put that over there. We can only get one of those. We've got a heat trap. I think it's set off by dinosaurs and rangers, but that's fine. We've got, what is this? A rustler of floodlights. More floodlights. Uh, I guess? I mean, it doesn't really stop any of them from getting in anyway. Um, and then we've got the flashbang trap. Pretty much just, they, they only seem to enter from here. So if we just dot this like everywhere. We create something special here. A better life for the dinosaurs. You know, if we could just get Beautiful. the world to see dinosaurs the way we do, then we'd have a chance of truly saving them. So... How can we make this better? Finch says the DFW captured more species of dinosaurs. They should arrive today. Good. They're doing their job. And we will make sure that we do ours. Keeping our dinosaur ratings up should further help things along. An expedition center should be part of our plans, too. What do you mean an we expedition center? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Why do we need one of these? <laughs> right, we'll put the sticky Morlocks in with the Triceratops, because I think it'll be fine. I realized we've got a Apatosaurs now, which are always fun, because the Apatosaurs are like, Yeah, I need space. Well, I'd love to see... Yeah, take them away. That's fine. Take the Apatosaurs away. And we've got an Azutoceratopses, which are probably going to be... Actually, will they be okay with other ceratopsids? I don't think so. So I'll put them in there. I feel like that's something that's it's probably a thing. So we'll check up on... No, I didn't want to do that. We'll check up on the apatosaurs. Because 
I mean, already they'll they'll just want lots of forest. I know that's a given. It'll be like lots of forest, tall leaf, tall nut, anything that's tall they want. And what's that? Here it comes, like it always does. Why am I not surprised? Well, the good news is I have a solution. Just give us the bad news. Okay. Uh, the bad news is that the DFW is out of money. I'd say that's what? pretty bad. The DFW can no longer contribute funds to help cover the costs for keeping this place operational. But, but I have a potential solve. Hmm? We're gonna have to open the ranch to visitors. Yay! It's a park! <laughs> there has to be another solution. I agree. What else can we do? I don't think there is anything. I honestly don't see any other choice but to open the ranch to visitors. You realize that this idea has never worked and always ends in chaos. No one's but it'll work a now. Theme park or a zoo. Think of it as a wildlife sanctuary with merchandise. <sighs> and it was going so well. We can set it up <laughs> as a non-profit animal preserve and the proceeds can help us cover the costs to help care for the dinosaurs. <laughs> Aw, I could tell that hurt. <laughs> it did, a little. But look, y you can limit the amount of guests you let in and then it won't be so difficult to manage. Then you start branching out as much or as little as you want to. Well, if you have no other choice, I guess we <sighs> give it a shot. There we go. Oh, God, Wranglers! They've been spotted. Suspicious activity. Where, here? Look at those idiots. Do they have any idea what they're walking into? <laughs> Kill them! <laughs> oh, wait, where are, where are they? Is this it? Suspicious activity has been detected over there. Is that right? Well, it's about time we get in that jeep, guys! Turn this thing around, and they're always going for Madame and Galleys. Take the apatosaurs. I don't want them. All right, this is a bit awkward, because now this is the apatosaur enclosure. So I think I need to go down here. Oh, God, I don't even know where I... Where am I? <laughs> All right, I am in here. Sweet. I just haven't got through yet. And they're about to clip the fence. You're just slowly, slowly gonna... Okay, that's fine. Whatevs. We've got another... Oh, we got one in here. Um, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God, there's so many forests. Damn freaking apatosaurs. Because <laughs> they want so much forest, it means I can't do anything or get anywhere. Just take them. Take... You've got the apatosaur. Just take them. I don't care. <laughs> We've just got to prevent more than 10 being stolen. I don't care about the apatosaur. He's darted one. I don't care about those. There he is. There he is. This is really tricky, having so many of them. Bam! And then I get stuck like that. Oh, you're surrendering now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go the other one. Five plus. Five plus things have been detected. Why can't we just have explosives? No, the power! Oh, there you go. Okay, good. Right. So, we've got one more, or two more, by the looks of it. Oh, for God's sake. This thing, it, it's like jelly. I'm like driving on jelly. It's that slippery. Oh, oh, yay, look at them. They took it away. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want them anyway. We'll need to retrofit some of our buildings. Claire, you know better right, yep. than Oh, okay. Hit, hit by the tree. That. Sweet. What should we do first? They'll want to be close to the dinosaurs. They'll want to see them. You really can't believe they're real until you've laid eyes on them. I, I honestly don't, wonder couldn't it. care that less. Moment, it never leaves you. No, it never does. But you can't safely give the guests that experience, can you? We can set up viewing areas. Guided tours are certainly an option. And there are new park buildings we can get up and running as well. Buildings up and running? Good. People up and running? Yeah, I know. That also never leaves you. No, it does not. Ooh, okay. So I've got to increase uh, dinosaur visibility to 75%. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard, seeing as the majority of my dinosaurs are just, like, in here. Oh, we got a dinosaur out there. Hello. <laughs> we got a few, actually. Uh, let's see if we can repair that fence. Um, I mean, if I wanted to, I suppose I could, like, try and rally these guys in. But I can't be bothered with that. Go on, you're slowly going out. This guy's going in, but you're going out. 
So wait, do I have to make drinks and stuff? Oh my god, build a functioning guided tour. Ensure enough dinosaurs are viewable from the guided tour and open the park. Okay, guided tour. Guided tour. Okay, so I need to research the guided tour. So this, oh, it's a, it's a gyrosphere. Oh, cool, sweet. <laughs> Okay, that's the guided tour set up. Oh, is that a gyrosphere? Can we switch what it is? <gasps> we can ride the guided tour. Yes. Look, it's all lit up and pretty. It's like Christmas. Okay, so now we just need to wait for the guided tour to, you know, go round up to over here. And then we can see loads of dinosaur species. All right, now it's just time to open the park. Okay. We can't have people staying in tents, so we'll have to build some other accommodations for them. Ho, 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 we'll I'm left. already Remember, there. We will need to have buildings Except that for the hotel. all our guests needs. Small hotel, taken care of, although it doesn't really look like a hotel. Urge, oh god, no. Oh no, view event on expedition, open live capture expedition, available for six minutes. Um, dinosaur spotted, one allosaur, near Big Rock. Oh, interesting, okay. So, wait, are you telling me now I'm pretty much... Oh, I don't have that. Okay, never mind. So, now I have to make the park? Right. I don't have anything. Um, Mutabura Sword. I'd love to be able to get some of these, but I don't have any staff available at the moment. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, we've got this huge lake here. But this could just be like a really nice enclosure for something. So, you know, we're trying to be good for the environment and you're protecting it and everything. Yeah, let's just terraform this whole area. <laughs> ah, what lake? I don't remember that. Oh, there we go. I just placed the hotel and now we got a baryonyx. The guests seem to be happy. Yeah, they do. But let's remember that protecting the dinosaurs is always the number one priority. It is. But we have to consider everything now. John Hammond was right about one thing. To really protect the dinosaurs, we need people to care about them, not just be afraid of them. That was a mistake Mizrani made. Always pushing for them to be bigger and with more teeth. Hell yeah, you got it right, man. And lost empathy for them as animals. We can do better. We have to learn from the mistakes of the past and forge a new path, Yo. a new way. Agreed. That's what science should do. Tackle an uncertain future, offer answers and hope. Maybe even change the world. Oh, maybe. You'll be lucky. <laughs> Increase the di total dinosaur rating to 50 and reach park rating of five stars. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to be something like this. We go from here? It looks cool, though. That's a great question. And bring in even more species, as long as it's safe for everyone, guests and dinosaurs. It could be cool. Ah! I, I barely got this place functioning. Are you kidding me? Allosaurs captured. Yes. Yes, it's ready. I don't know. Plop it in there. Put in the bigger one. I mean, I could have probably put it in with these... Like these guys? The Apatosaurs? Probably? I think they get on with them, don't they? Uh, dislikes Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and other sauropods. But gets on with everything else. I feel like for some reason, a Padasaur's okay with them. And finally, I can construct a supplement like staff building. Ah, for God's sake. I don't think I want to do that because I have nothing that goes well. Like all Ceratopsians hate each other. Uh, we'll resupply, fill that up. Okie dokie, the fossil fuels are brilliant. And uh, let's finally place this thing. Good God. I've been wanting to do it for ages. Staff facility done. Because I'm sick of people being annoyed at me. All right. Allosaurus. Get in. What do you want? You're missing. Oh, you're, you're perfect here though. Boom. Oh, that's two praise. Well, who cares? You can have fun. You're the one from Battle at Big Rock. And your Yukon River blank pattern. Ooh, okay. I'll remember that. I won't. I'm lying. Sorted. <laughs> done. Only took like, well, how much does it cost? Less than a million? Jesus, don't all these environmentalists are on about trying to raise money. It takes two, like, it's, it's pocket money to do this. Right, Draco Rexes. Do you go well with anything? Oh, wait, I could have probably put them in there. Damn. Okay, well, when these guys come in, we'll sedate them. Oh, so there's going to be no more poachers? 
Oh, the, I bet that'll be the final mission. The final mission would be like, and here they come. It's their last ditch effort to steal everything. They've brought tanks. Oh, okay. Urgent mission. What we got? Uh, five dimorphodons. Ooh, okay. You know what? I like a challenge. Let's make an aviary. That's a good way of getting my dinosaur like rating up as well as my total number up. Uh, yeah. Could you could you give me a second? Uh, oh, you only got two. Oh, brilliant. So I'm I'm researching all this, and you've only got two. Cheers, game. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> Friggin' Rustler just went. Hello. <laughs> all right, let's stop him. I got this. Sorry, Mr. Apatosaur, we're going to kill some people! Woohoo! Path not connected. Don't care about it. I don't care if we got the Morphodons ready to go in. Ah, I'm bloodthirsty. Oh, there he is! How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Just destroyed a fence and then went, uh, never mind. So we've seen one. Apparently, there's supposed to be another one. Yeah! <laughs> You may smash the fence. Ah, gonna smash your head in me. Ah, uh, uh, oh, well, we flipped him. He should be destroyed now, shouldn't he? Get off, man. Stop these uh, Draco Rexes from breaking out and also destroy this Jeep. If I could, if I could go through friggin' woods. Oh, my God. Oh, that sucks. Because I can't do that. I can't, like, stop him. Right, I don't see him. He was here a second ago. But he seems to have just vanished. Hey, Demovidons, finally! Woo! -hoo. Right, you're not happy because you want ground nut. Well, there's plenty of space here. And I can give you it. Just don't hit the damn fences. Oh, compies, yes! Heck yeah, we'll do that. Compies are great for, uh, like, large carnivores. Right, Sora Pelter. Sorry, I haven't even checked in on you guys. How you doing? Oh, you... So nice, these guys. Like, yeah, well, it's fine. You, you've got things to worry about. We'll be all right. Right, so the Demorphodons are now... Oh, God. Yep. I thought that... Uh, what's it called? Um, Draco Rex would been bashing the fence. So one Demorphodon. Hello. Welcome to your new enclosure. Although, and you also want open space. You know what? You want everything. I 100% understand. Oh, Draco Rex. Come on. Come on. You don't want to attack the fence. There's loads of them. No, stop it, you <laughs> fuck you. We need to whack them on the head and be like, nope, they're over there. You've lost them. <laughs> if that's a problem. We'll place another one down. Sorry, Mr. Alice, so I know you're in the middle of eating that. But look how cool that looks with all the snow around you. Okay, let's have a look. What am I requiring in order to increase? My appeal's in 70% for dinosaur viewing. Okay, so they want more food and drink over here as well, right? No, apparently we need to research it. And we've also got more compies coming in. Well, you know what? We need that, I suppose. That'll push us over to the 50. Oh, can these guys also keep an eye on the dinosaurs by doing the station outpost? I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Right, so we got how many? We got, oh my god, we got nine of the buggers. Ooh, okay, well, more nine. I'm sure that'll be fine. We've got like 18 in here or something. I think maybe 17? I mean, the majority of my dinosaurs... Oh god, oh god, rustlers. No! I think this is probably the last time I'm gonna have to deal with them. I'll be damned if he's gonna steal any of my dinos! Oh, there's another one! Whoa! Did he just... Oh, did he get... Ooh. Oh, oh, go! Come on! No! <laughs> Damn it! Bloody Spinosaur skeleton! I was gonna full speed ahead and ram him! I'm, uh, oh, is he done? He doesn't seem to be moving. All right, well, sod you. I'm going to go intercept the other guy. Yes. Oh, for God! What did I even head off there, man? This game. Oh. I'm right behind you, man. Oh, now you give up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay, cool. And, of course, we've got your Triceratops on order. Yeah, we're two of them now. Sweet. Wait, did he... Is he stolen one of my... You buggers, you stole one of my Nasutoceratopses. Ah! Oh, okay. Well, there's all the trikes. Oh, 4.8 now. Oh, 4.9. Oh, just give me the five. Come on. Like, yes. <laughs> Finally. Dinosaurs are safe. I think this has been a, a far different experience than my usual interaction. With I dinosaurs. felt kind of similar to me. So I'm not going to lie. I think he's trying to say he actually had fun. Yeah. I think I did. 
He deserves it. Ellen Grant, you continue to surprise me. No. Just wait till he says he wants kids. <laughs> He's really surprised you. To compete with dinosaurs for your attention. You never had to. Ooh. I have to admit, what you've been able to accomplish here is a sight to behold. We're a heck of a team. We are. And we'll have to continue to work together because these dinosaurs are counting on us for their survival. Is that going to be... Oh, it looks like that's going to be the end. It is the end. There you have it. Jurassic World Dominion mission complete. I did that in about an hour and 20 minutes. But as far as a what if scenario goes, I guess it was all right. I don't really know how much it had in, to do with what if. I guess it's like, what if Owen all of a sudden had... An amazing DFW outpost to save all the dinosaurs. Except, it's also run like a park. And occasionally, there's poachers. <laughs> I think the poachers was a good idea. However, I didn't feel like they were executed the best way they could have. Um, because they were only around for two minutes. And it was like, make sure the eight dinosaurs don't get uh, taken away. And honestly, it felt like if eight dinosaurs were taken away in like two minutes. That's crazy. Like, there's no way I could have lost eight dinosaurs or ten dinosaurs in two minutes there. And the rest of it was kind of just like making a park. A bit underwhelming, but the I mean, the main reason I'm getting the Dominion DLC isn't for this. It's not for the what-if story. It's not for the campaign. They're just kind of extras that if you want to do, you can do. You know, a little bit of fun, get to hear the original voice cast, or, you know, the original cast come back and voice their, their roles, except for... <sighs> Chris Pratt, for whatever reason. Like I said, what, I, what I'm getting this for is for the new environment, the new biome, uh, the Giga skin, and the Therizinosaurus and stuff like that. It's probably a little bit more expensive than what I would want to pay for it. But, I mean, the, the environment it has with that new Biosyn and the fog and stuff, it just looks so good. But anyway, guys, leave in the comments down below letting me know what your thoughts are. And what did you think of this what-if scenario? Did you like the whole watch outposts and blowing up things? I quite enjoyed actually wanting to cause damage to myself by causing damage to another thing. But I think it would have been better if I could run over some people. That would have been good. Like if they ran out when they were like, you know, trying to chop through the fence and I went BAM into them. <laughs> Even if it was just ragdoll physics, that would have been really cool. But anyway, guys, let me know. Leave in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.